Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you guys another recipe. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a gourde in the air fryer. It's so simple and easy and such a great and healthy snack. I'm using a medium red onion. You can use yellow onions. I just didn't have any yellow onions on hand and I am using my mandolin. I believe I picked this one up at Walmart, but they do sell them on Amazon as well. This just gives me the perfect thin sliced onion and I can't get them this thin by hand, but if you don't have one of these, feel free to hand cut them. Once they're nicely sliced, just break them apart and then I'm going to go in and do the same thing with the potato. I'm just using one medium potato, switching up the settings a little bit so I get nice thin sliced potato. If you are chopping by hand, just make sure that your onions and potatoes are very nice and thin so they cook fast. I just gave my potatoes a quick rinse and squeezed out as much water as possible. Then I'm just adding them to the onions. Next up, I am chopping up a handful of coriander and I like extra coriander and I am going to make sure they are finely chopped. I also like adding green chilies to my pakore because I feel like it gives it a nice flavor. These ones are pretty mild so they are perfect for flavor but not spice and perfect if you are cooking for kids. Next up, we are going to start adding in our spices and I am just going to list them on the screen for you guys so you can pause it if you need to. I am using cumin seeds here, but you can also use cumin powder if that's what you prefer. I also like adding coriander seeds to mine, so I just went ahead and smashed the coriander seeds. You can do that in a mortar and pestle or you can use a spice grinder. If you don't have those, you can also use a Ziploc bag. Just put your spices in there and smash it with a rolling pin. And then we are going to add in our salt to taste. The next step is completely optional, but I do feel like it adds a nice flavor to the pakore, so I'm adding in one teaspoon of lemon juice. And once everything is in, we're going to go ahead and make sure we give it a good mix. As you know, traditionally, pakore are deep fried, and I'm always trying to find a healthy alternative to our delicious Pakistani South Asian foods, so I love these. They turn out really good in the air fryer. Once everything is mixed together, we're going to go ahead and leave this mix mixture for 15 minutes just to bring out all the water and then after 15 minutes i am going to add in half a cup of chickpea flour which is basin but if you don't have that you can go ahead and use all-purpose flour as well now at this point if you think your batter is too runny you can add some more flour to it now that our pakora mixture is all ready, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our air fryer. Mine has a preheat setting, so I just hit that, but you can preheat yours at the highest setting for five minutes. Once the air fryer is done preheating, just give it a nice spray of cooking oil. We want to make sure that we reduce the sticking as much as possible. Then you can place them in the basket. Just make sure that they're not touching because we don't want one giant pakora. I had just enough pakora batter to make nine medium-sized pakora, which is perfect. I don't have to do a second batch. If you want to make more, just double up the recipe. Once they're all in the basket, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some more cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray, let these cook until halfway through, and then when the texture is a little firm, you can brush on the oil. We are going to cook these at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes, making sure to hit it with some more oil and then flip it halfway through. As much as I love the air fryer and it is such a healthy alternative to the traditional deep frying, there are just some recipes that just don't work in here and pakore have to be one of them. I have struggled to make these so many times and I finally nailed the perfect recipe and they turned out so good. And that's it. It is really simple as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I know I did, especially on a wonderful rainy day. These pakoras are delicious and I really hope you guys try them out. These are so good on their own, but if you guys want a little more flavor, just sprinkle some chaat masala on top and it just takes it to another level. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will see you next time.